Welcome back to Praxis Test Prep. If you are new here, we're all about helping you pass your teacher certification exams with ease and confidence. Today, I want to tackle things from a bit of a different angle and focus on my top five mistakes to avoid when taking the Praxis Elementary Math exam. These insights come from years of working with Praxis test takers and hearing what went well and what didn't on test day. Ready to get started and learn what not to do? Let's jump right in. In preparing for Praxis exams, sometimes we get so caught up in mastering the skills and knowledge that we forget that this is a test just as much about understanding how to teach math as it is about being able to solve the problems ourselves. Make sure that you are setting aside study time to prepare for questions that assess your knowledge of instructional strategies and student development. This includes being familiar with how to accommodate various learning styles, how to pace lessons appropriately, how to tie related but distinct concepts to one another, and how to provide support for students with different skill levels. You may also be asked to evaluate sample scenarios for their teaching efficacy and identify how best to help a student overcome an error or misunderstanding in their work. Finally, make sure that you are comfortable with applying real world examples to common mathematical concepts as this is a common tool used to drive classroom engagement and enhance student learning. Another common error we see is test takers forgetting to brush up on their math vocabulary. Yes, math is mostly about numbers, but it's also governed by a set of rules and definitions that are all governed by words. Do you remember the formal definition of a rational number? Do you remember what it means to compose and decompose multi-digit numbers? Can you distinguish between the associative and distributive properties? Is the top number in a fraction the numerator or the denominator? Again, these concepts may not feel challenging to you, but they are nuanced, and it's probably been a few years or more since you have reviewed them. The Praxis Elementary Math exam expects you to have a strong understanding of these details to be able to effectively teach, and in many cases, getting a question correct hinges on your ability to understand and define the specific terms being used. Quick tip, create a vocabulary list of key math terms and their definitions. Review and quiz yourself on this list to ensure you're familiar with the terminology that might appear on the exam. The Praxis Elementary Math exam does not penalize you for getting questions wrong, so the easiest thing that you can do to maximize your score is to make sure that you answer every question. Even if you are completely stumped by the question and have no idea where to even begin, you should always guess because even a 20% chance of getting the question right is better than zero. Also, make sure to keep this in mind when thinking about how much time you have for the exam. The Praxis Elementary Math exam is a timed 65 minute exam and you will want to leave at least five minutes at the end to ensure that you can submit an answer for every question. Many of our test takers understand that they should guess, but find themselves stuck on harder questions and run out of time before they can get through every question. Avoid this by keeping an eye on the clock and ensuring that you set aside time at the end to submit guesses for any questions you haven't gotten to yet. Quick tip, practice with full length timed tests to get used to the pacing. Develop a strategy for guessing intelligently on questions you're unsure about, such as eliminating clearly wrong answers first. Speaking of time management, it is very easy to get stuck on a single question. Don't do that. This test is specifically designed to not just test your knowledge, but also your speed. You are given 65 minutes to answer 50 questions, which isn't even two minutes per question. That means if you ever do spend more than two minutes on a single question, you are now eating into your available time on each remaining question. I generally recommend that if you hit that two minute mark and still don't know the answer, then just guess and move on. If you have time at the end, you can always come back, but your first priority should be to give yourself a chance to carefully read through and answer each question on the test. Many of us have missed easy questions simply because we were rushing and that time pressure only gets worse if you allow one or two hard questions to take up too much of your time. Quick tip, use a timer during practice sessions to keep track of how long you spend on each question. 
train yourself to move on after a set time and mark questions to review if time allows at the end. Last but not least is not preparing for the test environment. It's one thing to solve problems leisurely on your own. It is another to do so in a timed and controlled setting. And whether you choose to take your praxis in a testing center or to take it at home, it's important that you prepare for test day by simulating the testing environment while you practice. That means timing your practice sessions using only approved materials and taking breaks only as allowed during the actual test. This may sound a bit intense, but trust me, forcing yourself to sit down for a full-length practice test at least once before your formal exam date will make you feel so much more comfortable and confident on test day. And there you have it, my top five mistakes to avoid when taking the Praxis Elementary Math exam. If you would like to join our community of educators, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our Praxis test prep tips and strategies. Also, feel free to comment down below with any questions that we haven't answered yet in our video series. If you are looking for more Praxis test prep tips and techniques, check out our other videos. We are adding more videos to this channel every week as we tackle more of your questions. And don't forget to head over to study.com and consider one of our comprehensive Praxis test prep courses. Happy studying, and we'll see you in our next video.